Okay, <clears throat> so we've got an unequal sided octagon bay window rafter calculator here. And uh, if you notice, you can see that um, this bay window, we've got uh, two dimensions here, R and F. F would be the length of side of this front wall, and R is the uh, distance straight across here. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter this in as uh, 6 feet even for this tutorial. And we'll make R 2 foot, and we're going to hit submit. Now, if you uh, notice here, you can see that the face wall length is six feet. The projection of the window is two feet. And uh, <clears throat> the projection of the wall length is two foot nine and 15 sixteenths. So that means that uh, this dimension here on the angle is two foot nine and 15 sixteenths. And uh, it's showing that the walls are at a 45 degree angle. The interior angle is 135. And uh, the bay hip rafter run bisect angle is 59.04 and uh, the rafter run bisect angle is 75.96 now the fact that this bay hip rafter run bisect angle is 59 degrees what that is telling us is that these hips do not run at a standard 22 and a half or 67 and a half degree angle off of the wall they're different, which means that uh, this overhang is going to have to be slightly different than this overhang. So you can see we put an overhang in here of 24 inches, but we're going to have a different overhang here. And the reason that we're doing this, we could keep these hips and just make them come all the way up at 67 and a half degrees, and it would bring this up further, and uh, then the overhangs could stay the same, and that is one way to build it. But for this particular calculator, the reason that it does it this way is it's keeping our valley rafter at a 45 degree angle so that this is an 8 and 12 and this is an 8 and 12 and that is what this particular calculator is going to do and then it changes the angles so that uh, this can work out you can see that our ridge is the same length as our pop out of two feet and uh, it just calculates and does all of this for you so again um, you can do it the other way but this way is keeping the uh, the 45 degree valley which, uh, which does make it in a lot of ways easier. Now we have another calculator that uh, says with offset hips and what that'll do is that will allow you to move these hips over and change the heel height so that you can keep the overhang the same and still have a 45 degree valley. So that's another option that you can do. So let's go back down to our iframe here and uh, see that uh, We've got the bay hip, so we talked about that. The common rafter run is five feet. The common rafter pitch is eight. The common rafter pitch angle is 33.69, which we know is a eight and 12. And uh, again, here we have the common rafter run and it shows us of five feet. And uh, so we know that we have a dimension of six feet across from here to here because we entered in in this face wall was six feet and then this is two feet so that makes a span for this bay window octagon of ten feet so we have a run of five feet and uh, then we have a rise of three foot four and again this does not factor in any heel heights and uh, again this does not encounter or factor in any setbacks for the thicknesses of your rafter material this is act just the uh, the bisect points and uh, you're gonna have to do those deductions yourself which is quite easy to just mark it out on the board. So the common rafter length is uh, going to be six foot and one eighth. And uh, we can see here that this is the common rafter length right here. These are the common rafters. And uh, then we have a common rafter overhang of two foot, and we know that we entered that in. It gives us a rafter overhang length, the length of the tail on the rake, where the diagonal is two foot four and seven eighths. It gives us our spacing for our jack rafters that we entered in. Our, our rafter on centers were two foot, 24 inches. So this tells us that our jack rafter deduction from our common rafter for our first jack rafter before any setbacks is four foot and one eighth. And uh, it gives us the rafter angle, the plumb cut of our bay hip, so our hip rafters of 29.75. And uh, the 
So we can see our bay hip rafter length is six foot eight and five eighths. And uh, we can also see here that uh, it gives us our rafter overhang length of two foot eight and a quarter. That's the tail length. The overhang run is two foot four, and that's for our bay hips. Then we also have the 45 wall common rafter run, and it gives us the angle. So if we come down and look at this, we'll see that this is our 45 wall, and so this is our common rafter that it gives us here. It gives us the angle of the plumb cut, and it gives us the length of the rafter, and it gives us the run. And uh, you can see that uh, it also gives us jack rafter spacing based on two feet, and we can see that it's a very large deduction of 9 foot 3 and 7 sixteenths. And you can see that these are so skewed that by the time you were to come over two feet, it would literally be nine foot that we would have to deduct off of that. So we're not going to need a jack there, but it gives it to you anyway. And, uh, and then you can see it also gives you the valley rafter angle and uh, the valley rafter pitch. And uh, when it talks about the, this, this is the valley rafter that we're talking about here. So again, you can see that uh, it's at an eight and 16.97 and the rafter is 25 degrees. That is a standard 8 and 12 hip and valley cut and uh, that's because it kept that valley as a as an equal equal pitched roof. So gives us the length there and then you notice the dog leg valley rafter and it gives us the pitch of that, the length of it, the run and if you come down and look at this you'll notice that this valley comes down at a 45 degree angle, but then this one changes and it runs at uh, a 22 and a half degree angle. And the reason that you have to do that is if this was to come all the way straight down here, then the overhang would be skewed. But by doing it this way, it keeps the overhangs almost the same, but we know that we can't have the exact same overhang because these aren't running at 67 and a half degrees. So um, again, it gives us our uh, freeze block angles for our face wall. It gives us uh, our rafter drop. It gives us the freeze block angles for our 45 wall. And uh, it even gives us the freeze block angles for our dog leg valley where our fascia or our blocks would come in there. One last thing I want to show you is that uh, it also gives us our 45 wall common rafter overhang run of 2 foot 3 and 3 sixteenths. And we see that our overhang run is, here is two foot. So what's that telling us is that this overhang is going to have to be two foot because that's what we made it. But because these hips aren't running at 67 and a half degrees, we're going to have to make this overhang two foot three and three sixteenths so that this all works out. So it pretty much gives you everything that you, uh, that you need. And uh, I hope this helps you on your next roof.